Okay, then I'm back again here. Can we repair it? No. What did that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her yet. Yeah, yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Uh, silence. Do you think that worked? I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look, we could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. Hmm. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you, because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. You're not touching me. Do you understand that? You know exactly what to do if I turn, and that's enough. Do you hear me? You might become one of them! You understand that? How can you be fucking calm about that? Is that any hard? Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look. A hole. No. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other <laughs> side of this wall? A 30 foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. Okay. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Hmm. Hmm. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. Yay. I can't believe you didn't tell us you were bitten. Mm. You couldn't do anything anyway. No, except make sure Clementine had someone coming for her that wasn't liable to die on the way there. I wasn't gonna let that happen. I'm sure that's what that Larry guy or whoever said. He wasn't bitten. It was different. You were scared. I don't blame you. I would be scared shitless. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? No. Uh, I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? Hmm. We figure out who he is, and why he's doing this. We can rescue Clem, but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit? And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? <laughs> I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off! What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. Uh, I want Kenny to look after her. Yay. Do you hear me? 
Are you sure, man? You didn't see him with his family. What did he do to protect them? We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Why don't they use the other end? It's good we're forced to take a breath. That could possibly do a little more damage. Any better? Still feels pretty recently chopped. So no, Kenny feels about as uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it did it help at all? I feel like a man got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. Heard you guys giving Lee some hell about hiding his bite. Yeah, of course. I'd have done the same thing. Hmm. So you have hidden a bite? How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You Silence. Than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. The day I met him, I thought this guy was a pretty big piece of shit. Has much changed? Yeah, it did. My family's... gone. But I know I could feel even more alone. Hmm. Silence. And you're both here now, trying to help each other. Well, cheers. Nah. <laughs> and he got surprised. I'm through. Yay. No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Okay. They... Died together. <sighs> uh, silence. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Hmm. Open. Ah, it's bright. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. And cross. Jump. With your uh, stump. So he managed to jump with that leg. Oh, that thing almost fell. If there had been more people, I guess they would have fallen through. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? This 
good to be moving. Uh, silence. It's just good to be bearing down on this asshole. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Careful cross here. I have acrophobia. No, 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 no. Ah. Uh, finally. River Street's just up ahead. Nope. Maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. Mm. Silence. Can smell them? I can smell them. Years from now when this is over, that smell is gonna haunt my fucking dreams. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <clears throat> oh. Are you serious? Oh fuck. Well, I'm so sorry. Yep. We have to get it back. That's our lifeline to her. But we can find this guy without it. And what if we don't? We need every clue that comes out of it. Lee's right. I am so fucking sorry. It's fine. We just need to figure out who's going down there. No, we don't. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Fuck. We can't reach. Uh, Find jump. something fast. Fast would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. Hmm. Anything to grab? A pole. Grab onto this. We'll pull you up. Good. Thanks. Arr, and he's doing it with one arm. <laughs> and that made sound. So where's the zombies? Behind you. Oh, in the window. Shit, they're in there. Well, Kenny got one shot left. Jump up here, baby! Let's go! Jump! <laughs> Me and my fucking mouth. God, what are you doing? Uh, get her, Ken! Can't you said all that shit and not do something now. Come on, reach! Uh, I got gotcha, you, hun! Save her! Go, go, go! Do you fucking hear me? Yay! Drag her up. Get Kenny. Jump up here, Ken. I'll grab you. Oh. In after him. We can't. We have to. Lee! Go! And Kenny died. <laughs> I wanted them to jump in. <laughs> Where'd he go? Silence. He's, he's alright, right? Maybe he's not. He went down there for you. I know he did. He... Maybe he should, he should have given the pole to someone with two arms? Or hands, since he got uh, some of that arm left? <laughs> Mercy.